Angel and today I have for you another thrift haul. I am so excited to do this video. It feels like it's been a while since I last did one of these sit down thrift haul videos but I think maybe it's only been a month and it just feels longer. <laughs> but I'm so excited to show you my recent thrift finds. Here is the big old bag. Ooh, who is this? crazy character. You'll have to watch and find out. <laughs> per the usual, I have some things I picked up for myself and also some things I picked up for my online shop, gingham underscore goose on Depop, Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. But let's get into this haul. So first we have this mini little bag of mugs. I did a huge clear out of a lot of my kitchen stuff and I got rid of a bunch of mugs I wasn't using. And then I was bad and then I got more mugs. <laughs> so first we have this little gingham daisy mug. It's just so cute. It's a good size too. Got rid of a lot of mugs that were too small. And then we have these two <laughs> kitty mugs. And I probably wouldn't have got them if they weren't a little set. But I just thought they'd be so cute for when my mom comes over and we have a cup of tea together. Oh, they're just chocolate babies with their little butterflies and then their tails are the handle. And then that was it for house stuff. Usually I find more, but I've been purging a lot of things around my house just because I'm tired of clutter. You wouldn't know that from, <laughs> from this. But for once, I found some shoes. And I don't know how practical they are. Not, not at all. <laughs> but look at these. They are just so interesting texturally. They're like those blazers. Um, there's a lot of these blazers in thrift stores of like this texture. Let me know if you know what it's called. I'm trying to figure it out, but it even has little sequins on it. So I want to keep these for me, but I don't know how often I'll wear them. I don't know. I think for now I'm just gonna stick them in my closet and if I find I'm not wearing them, maybe I'll stick them on my shop, but they are very cute. Next, my mom found these, so you know they're gonna be top tier. She knows me so well and so she finds the best stuff for me. But she found leg warmers, lacy, knit. Hmm. So they, they were conveniently folded so you don't see all the marks. <laughs> They're not in too bad a shape, but there are some marks that I feel that was a little strategic in folding it this way so you don't see them. Woo! They're super long. Or do they even, I guess they crinkle up, huh? They're like these, <laughs> but these are feet. <laughs> and they kind of look cute as arm warmers. But I've been looking for white ones for a long time. I have pink ones, which I hardly use, but I wanted white ones. They're very coquette, girly, cute, feminine. And so I was so pleased when my mom was like, hey, do you need leg warmers? Yes. Now we have lots and lots of clothes. Um, I'm just gonna go based on the stack. Usually I do it by category, but there's just so much and I don't feel like organizing it. So first we have a fairy skirt. The brand is Flower and it's free size. So it is pretty stretchy which is good but i picked this up for my shop just because fairy skirts do really well for me mostly in terms they sell really quickly i i can never keep them stocked <laughs> i will say though the white maxi skirts do the best for me those i have no trouble sometimes the brown ones they can sit for a while i don't know why that is uh just the details in this it's so gorgeous fairy boho you can fit into a lot of styles so i like picking up these maxi skirts then we have a similar one, but it is this lace, kind of similar. It's got like a gold lining and then lace over the top. This one I picked up and uh, I'm less sure of this one than the other one. The other one, I feel like it's gonna go pretty quickly. This one might sit a while, but it's by the brand Coldwater Creek. And I do like that brand. I just sold a very like cottage core little button down shirt by them but we'll see how this one does. And I, I will admit I'm bad about not researching. I just pick up things a lot of time based on whether or not I think it's cute. And I do need to be better about that, but you know. Then we have another fairy item. We have quite a few fairy items, but I picked up this white stag, brown and kind of silver fairy grunge V-neck. 
and it's by White Stag. It's a size large. I do pretty well with the White Stag, just kind of fairy grungy blouses. Also kind of when they can dip into whimsy goth a little, which I think this one does. That's my main strategy is less about like brands and more about like aesthetics because I don't know. I feel like that's more of a Depop strategy, but that's that's what's been working for me, but I do want to get a little more strategic on researching. Then we have this little fairy cami, and I probably overpaid for this because they marked it as a blouse when clearly it's more of a, a tank top, but it's by Young Essence. It's an extra large, and it's in really good condition, but I wasn't going to pick it up until I saw the buttons were flowers, and I feel that just adds a little extra cute fairy element to it. I kind of want to keep it for myself, but I'm trying to be good, I'm trying to be better about being selective about what goes in my closet. Next, we have a dress, which I hardly ever pick up because they're a bit pricey, at least in my area, my local thrift stores. I should say Goodwills. Right now, I'm only shopping at Goodwill, but tomorrow I'm actually gonna go try some new thrift stores in my area. There are two locally owned ones that I wanna check out, and so I can't wait to see what that's like. I can't wait to see what the selection is and what their prices are like. I will have to keep you updated on that. But here's a dress I picked up. It's this corduroy and then it has little pockets. Mushroom print, which is very cute. I just sold a mushroom print cardigan. And so I saw this in a thrift store. Actually, I was walking out and I didn't feel quite satisfied yet. So I, I took one more peek at the dresses. Saw this, I did look it up. It originally goes for like 50-ish. And it looked like they were selling for around 30-ish. And it's in really good condition ties in the back. I just thought it was super cute and, and fairy, of course, the mushroom motif. Next, this one my mom picked up, so you know it's good. This was my size, but it's not. It is this gorgeous milkmaid, ties in the back, fairy coquette little blouse, and it's just so adorable. The brand is Coconut. It's a size medium so it would not fit me, but it's so gorgeous, ugh. Honestly, this is probably my favorite kind of thing to sell, just like cute blouses that tie in the back. They photograph so well. <laughs> then, this is another one I picked up, and now that I have it in my home, I'm kind of less certain on. I just thought it was cute, this rose print top with sheer mesh sleeves. The brand is Rebecca Malone, and it's a size large. Yeah, and I, I think it's cute, but I don't think it's gonna get like snapped up. I think it might sit for a while. Just because it's not like super fairy, super coquette, like super aesthetic. It's just a nice piece that I thought was pretty. I'm losing my dragonfly. Having a bad hair day. Um, and so I just stuck bugs in my hair. <laughs> this isn't even a hair clip. This my mom got on um, some flowers. And I, I figured it looked good stuck in my hair. <laughs> Next, we actually have a clothing item I did pick up for myself because it has cute little kind of vintage inspired um, graphic. A baby don't cry with a kitty cat. Let me try it on real quick. And I'm probably not gonna do like I've been doing the, the big try on at the end. I think I'm just gonna try things on as I go. I think that'll be quicker. Here's how it looks. It's got the cute little lettuce hem, which I love. And it's kind of a bit more like a cropped length. I don't even know if it's supposed to be, but it is on me. <laughs> kind of uh, like more fitted, but it's not like uncomfortable, you know? So I think that is gonna work. It's really cute. And it is by uh, Forever 21. I don't think I said that. But next. My mom found this one. Look at this. It's those grungy graphic tees I love. It's by Studio Gem Q and it's an extra large. I thought it was kind of like Americana, Alana Del Rey core a little bit. Uh, maybe I'm just crazy though. Maybe I'm just seeing things I want to see. I, I just think it's really cute and uh, kind of kitschy. Scree. <laughs> So I talked about my kind of strategy is finding things that fit into aesthetics and that way people can find them for my online shop. But what I'm doing lately is also picking up some kind of funky things that maybe don't fit into like the core aesthetics I usually pick up. Just fun, funky things that I think 
have value, I guess. So here's kind of the funky things I picked up this week. Uh, I picked up this fruit skirt. It's so cute. It's by Attired New York. The tag does look vintage. It's a size eight. It's stretchy, but I just thought it was so cute. The little fruits, very like summertime, which maybe it's a little early for that. It even has little, little pockets on the front. I just thought it was a really cute little skirt. Next, if you saw my shorts that are like, I drove three hours, was it worth it? Uh, those hauls. This was also picked up. It just didn't really fit into either the pink one or the fairy one that I posted. But it is this vintage parrot kind of sweater, sleeveless sweater. It does have a few little stains, but I just thought it was too cool and there's like a little former on the back. And the label is in Spanish. The brand is Payeres. And here's what it looks like. It's so cute. I just couldn't leave it. Even though it does have a few flaws, I feel like someone's gonna absolutely love this. Then another funky piece. And this one needs a good wash and a lint rolling because it is very hairy. But it is, let me do up the buttons real quick. But it is this funky cat print blouse. And it is just so funny. They have little sunglasses. The brand is Lifestyle and it's a petite large. Definitely needs a lint rollering. It is so hairy. I'm probably gonna stick it in the wash. See how much hair comes out of it. Whoever owned this did love cats, which makes sense. Then we have same kind of motif, kitty cats. It's those graphic tees I love, but it's cats. And there's little rhinestone details and they're really funny. I love this, it's so cute. I wish I wore black, but I just don't. Uh, if I have it in my closet, I won't wear it. It's by Jess and Jane, and it's a size medium. And it's just too cute. I love the little kitties. I want more cat stuff on my shop. In my or very early stages of, of my online shop, I picked up a silk cat blouse, and it got snapped up, and it sold for like 35 when like I was selling things for like $8. <laughs> I was like, whoa, some good, good stuff there. And I've heard that like, cat lovers show up and buy the cute cat things. And I mean, I love cats. I want more cat like sweatshirts. So, so we'll see how the kitty stuff does. But speaking of kitties, I lost it when I found these. It is a Hello Kitty long sleeve. What are these called? Like baseball style V-neck shirts. And then Hello Kitty pajama pants, the holy grail. <laughs> if you don't know, it is so hard to find Hello Kitty pajama pants. And these have a kind of fun boxer style little waistband, which is cute. They're super stretchy. And these were actually sold as a set, but these are a medium and then this is an extra large. Oh, and it does have a cute little patch on the, on the elbow. There are a few fuzzies on it. You. But if I was smart, I'd put them on my shop. But am I smart? I think I might try these on real quick because they're so cute. Okay, the shirt is really cute. It's kind of stretchy. It does a weird thing when it stretches though. And like, look at the print when it stretches. But it is really cute. And I like how the sleeves are kind of baggy on me. But the pants are just slightly too tight, but they're really cute. Oh, so I think I am going to sell the pants. Yeah, they just don't fit me though. And I try to be good about not keeping stuff that does not fit. But I think I'm gonna keep the top. Am I crazy? Would this be cute to even like wear out? I don't think it looks that pajama-y. Looks like a cute Hello Kitty top. Is that crazy? Maybe. Now we're finally onto our final free items. I don't know why that keeps happening where it's three left when I when I look. We have very cute Tweety Bird little pajama top, which I just thought was really cute. It's a size extra large. It was actually marked as a set, but me and my mom looked, mostly my mom, she, she did a good job of looking through everything, but we could not find the matching pants. I picked it up anyway, because it was still a good price. I didn't do any research, I just kind of, Picked up what I thought is cute. 
then we have this really cute, you know I love these vintage little bed shirts, little pajama tops. This one has little embroidered flowers. It's really cute. A size medium. The brand is... Well, actually it's a size large, but the brand is Dina. I think it kind of gets into like the princess core aesthetic too. These kinds of, of little tops, but yeah, I just picked it up for the shop because cute vintage piece, kind of granny, but still very cute and girly and, and feminine. Finally, what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Or at least I've been waiting to show you. <laughs> Alligator backpack. See, he zips and he opens so you can put your treasures inside. I do not know what compelled me to... I just felt like I needed him, okay? Look at his teeth. I just think maybe he's kind of like weird core. And I think he'd be a fun element to do in my fairy outfits. Here, let me put back on the fairy top, show you my my vision. <laughs> okay, so fairy grungy top, and then alligator. See? <laughs> I don't know if that's conveying my vision. I think a big part of it is I have a lot of like nostalgia for, uh, for crocodiles, because my grandpa, in England, he would read us a story about a crocodile and he had these like stuffed animal crocodiles. I know this is a gator, at least I think it is. Because, you know, I miss my, my granddad. I, I hardly get to see him. I know he watches my video. So if you're watching granddad, I love you. I miss you. Also, my other grandpa watches as well. I love you, grandpas. <laughs> also, I also just love stuffed animal bags. They're so fun. And I really want more of them. But I think that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what your favorite item out of this haul was. Also comment if you found anything cool at the thrift store recently. I'd love to hear about it. Also let me know if there's any content you'd like to see from me in the future. I'd love to hear your suggestions. Next video, I think I might actually reveal how much I made in my first month monetized on YouTube. So if you're interested in uh, getting some insider info, uh, keep an eye out for that. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. It really, really helps out my channel. I think that is it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!